taking a good look here at where the United States is shifting gears with this war on terror. They are making it quite obvious from the installations that they are installing across the globe in various places, especially the CIA hub in which they will control all of the drone operations that will be conducted from here on out in the future over Africa from, uh, and the attacks on Yemen. There, there will be drone operations across Africa from here on out like never seen before. They are basically mapping out the whole terrain. Anywhere that they are not sure of, they are flying these things over and they are seeing everything. They're picking up heat signatures. They are finding more than just people. They are finding natural resources. And the list goes on and on of all the things that they are finding on this mission through Africa. Now, Libya has served, as I stated in the last video, as a hub of violence and weapons transfer, uh, human trafficking, so on and so forth, ever since the topple of Muammar Gaddafi. It is very unstable, and the U.S. actually just told all the Americans in Libya to get out. Now, with no one around seeing anything in Libya, anything can take place, and these weapons can come right on in. Now, I've spoken before. How are Boko Haram and all these other Al-Qaeda units that are now all over Africa getting these weapons, these French weapons, these APC armor vehicles, brand new? It doesn't take a rocket scientist to figure it out. The elite of this world are playing both sides of this war, and in doing so, they can invade every country. You see? They can go in and get whatever they want out of every country while they're there, because they're already there, militarily, killing anyone in their path. So I would say look for the operations in Africa to pick up from here on out, and this is going to be a strategic point. I think for the United States, you're going to see them start to, to fill into all these regions. And they have just announced recently that they have found where these 200 and some kidnapped girls are. They've stated this, but they don't want to go in and get them. Because they would have to use force and risk killing them. So how are you going to do it? You don't want to negotiate with terrorists. You don't want to use force. You're just going to let them sit there and use it as an excuse to send more troops, more troops, more troops. So as you'll see, I'll leave a link, as you'll see in this, in this read here, they are, are training and installing small factions all across Africa to get what they want done. So that's the latest. I'll leave a link in the description. Till next time, it's been Dabu7. Peace.